So what's going on today, Maureen? I wanna take you through the process of dehydrating and rehydrating some sourdough starter. And I'm sure your first question is, you can dehydrate sourdough starter? Yep. And I know your second question is, uh, why? One of the benefits of dehydrating sourdough starter is so that you can actually send it in the mail because I can't send my liquidy stuff. I'm starting with some fresh fed sourdough starter and we're just gonna put it on some parchment paper. You want to let it air dry for 24 to 48 hours, depending on the humidity in your climate. Mine does take a couple of days. Could put it in a dehydrator, but I'm worried about it killing the microbes. For a couple of days, it's gonna look like this, kind of these nice dry big pieces. We're gonna just stick them into a jar that we're gonna to use to grind them down into a, a flour. We're going to use just a hand blender. You could use a regular size blender too. If you're struggling with your little immersion blender, you can also have a little release of frustration and use a meat tenderizer. Add three tablespoons of our dehydrated sourdough starter. Add three quarters of a cup of warm water and stir it up. Once it's all dissolved, add in one cup of flour. You want it to be thicker, not quite like what normal sourdough starter looks like. So just a smidget more water. Lastly, I'm gonna just scrape down the sides to make sure that I can see when we have growth. I've got an elastic here and I'm just gonna line it up. Then we're gonna put a lid on it just loosely for eight to 12 hours and wait to see if we've got some bubbles and some growth. Someone should clean their oven. After about 12 hours, we've got Lots of growth and beautiful bubbles, all ready to go for bacon bread.